Like it's really it's draining me right yeah, now. It's draining me right now. Let me. I need. I need to recharge myself with something. Here we go. Right here, number five, Tomoki Tanaka. Yeah, he had an 87 earlier. He so. did. So here he goes. What does he have? Yeah, what does he have? What's that left stored for us right here? Let's see this ball all the way through from two to three. Nice job on outside zone one. Ooh, right at money off the bottle the whole time. Man, that's a lot of angle that he kicked at outside zone two to three. Not quick, but I like how he went Literally high here, angle. Let's see if this is enough. There you go. Us, there you go. He's in the 90s club. Yeah, I mean, it takes car setup. It takes a lot of, you know. Uh, commitment. So, uh, good job to Tanaka. So next is going to be number 73, Ikuo Saito, in his West Auto with good pride. Jay-Z Explorer Chaser got an 81 on his initial count. He has in store right here coming in a 3 2 one. Nice initiation early into the three cone right there. He's early in the one. Beautiful job. And not too deep right there. Uh, ooh, good job. Nice. Wow. Taking it all right there. Good job. Oh my God. Oh, holding it all the way through. Holding that angle all the way through the finish. And keep us at the edge of our seats. And there you go. 90 from an 81 to a 90. Congratulations. Next at the line is going to be number 448, Yoshia Asaki and his Origin Labo Racing SR powered S15. Uh, 400, a little over 400 horsepower coming out of this car, but through an 81 point run. Initiating right after that three come, coming into outer zone one. Nice subtle entry into outer zone one. Rolling around to outer zone two. Nice dip into outer zone two right there. And oh, tracking it all the way through outer zone three right now. And then rolling into outer zone four. Beautiful job by. Boom, very 90. Very clean, yeah, very clean run. Started to drive the beginning of this series all the way till now. So let's move on to the next driver, number 36, Kazumi Takahashi. Like we talked about earlier, he was in the E92 BMW, but now he's got this new Mark II that he brought out. Beautiful build, 950 horsepower, and it only weighs like 1,100 kilos. So super light car. Here he is initiating early in that the three cone. Nice job sweeping in the outer zone. Ooh, holding that angle. Let's see all that quick coming in. Ooh, but he held it back a little right there. Yeah, he is moving in the right direction. With get from the judges. There you go, a 90. He's in the 90s club. Yeah, so um, the next driver is Andrew Gray. He's a three-time FD Japan champion, and he's sitting on an 80 right now. And shout out to him. There you go, 91. Congratulations, 80 to a 91. Huge jump. Takatoshi. Triple four. Triple four. Takatoshi. Imamaida in his uh, Sylvia S14. He got a uh, goose egg, a zero. And definitely has a lot of stress and pressure on him right now. But that's what he do spun out at outer zone two. Let's see what he's going to do right here. Initiating right here at the two. Come in in outer zone one. Beautiful job in outer zone one. But what is he going to do here on the second half of the track? Beautiful job right there. Not too bad in outer zone three. And here he comes in outer zone four, finishing super strong right there. Man, that was a lot. Where he's at now. So there you are, 91. With all the pressure on his back to get a goose egg zero. These cars are placed in these zones. And it's not off the bird's eye view. Because like I said, the bird's eye view, we could see the finish easily. But anything after the finish, we kind of we kind of get a blank from. So... This is a huge track. If you were ever came here, you'll know. But here we go right here. Our next runner-up is going to be going to 770 Yusuke Kusaba. He's got an 86. Driving this beautiful A90 Kusko Supra. Beautiful job in outer zone one. Nice dip in the outer zone two. And here he is nice right job. there. Filling the outer zone three and dragging it all the way around to outer zone four. Beautiful job. Got an 86. There you go. Damn, 91. 91. So... Um, yeah, we're out there all the time. We're fixing the track. We're chalk. We're using chalk. Some of the international tracks won't let us. Um, Color even. So we're par partially artistic. And here we are right here coming with 
Number 57, Kanta. Kanta got it right here. And the T. Morris Jr. Beautiful job in the outer zone one. Let's see what he's going to do right here. Outer zone two. Woo! Nice. Outer zone Good. three. Beautiful job right there. And that's what I'm talking about. An 87 on his first run. Oh, there you go. New points leader. Boom, 94. And you all were right in there in the 90s. So beautiful job. So it's either going to be on the Formula Drift Japan um, Facebook page or it's going to be on their Instagram. Uh, Instagram. So if you haven't followed them, go ahead and give them a follow as well. They do um, post some pictures and cool pictures of different types of cars um, that you're not familiar with. Maybe. And here we are right here. Hibino coming in with this sick S15. Nice initiation right here. Full rotor, twin turbo. Talking for me through outer zone one, coming into outer zone two right here. Look at all that smoke he's pumping out. Beautiful uh, job right there. Threw a 91 point score initially for his first qualifying run, and that right there <laughs> was a Suzuka twin. So let's see. 95. 95. Boom right there. That was well deserved 95 because it was good. It was. <laughs> it was exciting to see. Did you guys get that right? 